Hello everyone and welcome to World of Darkness news, this time from all possible fields of World of Darkness, Hunter, Vampire, board games, I mean card games, video games and the TTRPG releases because today we are celebrating the physical release of Hunter the Reckoning book which happened just yesterday if you're watching us on Twitch, if you're watching us on YouTube that was two days ago, but anyway Hunter the book is available right now in retail or from Renegade store so you can grab it from there. And let's Let's start to, with talking a little bit more about Hunter the Reckoning. So with Hunter the Reckoning book being in print right now, you can not only order it from the Renegade site, but also right now for the limited time, the PDF is going to be free with all the pur purchases. So if you uh, remember that we had the pre-order promo, where if you pre-ordered the book, you got the PDF for free, this promotion is prolonged. You will still get the PDF for free if you buy the book now, so you can grab it in the digital version right away and wait for the book to come via mail quite soon to you. Uh, when it comes to the buying from Renegade store, if you go for the first time to the website, it will give you a prompt about the location from where you're exactly you're buying. If you already clicked on something, if you want to change the region, you can go to the top left corner of the site and see all the regions in which books are available. Renegade is releasing the books in retail, so if your region in particular is not being covered by the Renegade store, do talk to your local retailers and uh, tell them that you want to buy Hunter and see if they can and get it for you. Hundred Reckoning is a book that we've put a lot of love into. You can check out a lot of the previews already available on the Renegade site already, as well as plenty of dev blogs, which we've shared on worldofdarkness.com, in which we detailed the design principles of Hunter and how, design, uh, how Hunter was developed in general. But we also are going to have a special guest, Justin Achille, which I know that you really like to have on the show because he always gives a really cool insight about the design of uh, what we do next week. So he's going to visit us on the stream next week to talk a little bit more about Hunter. Last week on the stream we had a really cool stream of character creation by Hadi and in the stream Hadi was going through the whole character sheet for Hunter and uh, based on the Nerdbird sheet that was made by the community member, thank you so much Nerdbird if you're here for making these awesome sheets, uh, she was making the character for Hunter. We've noticed something during the stream which I would love to point out to you that some of the players coming especially from Vampire the Masquerade are interpreting Chronicle tenets and for example adding convictions on top of the touchstones to Hunter which is very much um, Vampire the Masquerade thing only. So we've noticed, we talked with the team a lot about this issue, about the fact that on stream it was shown that uh, uh, touchstones um, are connected to convictions for Hunters and that there are chronicle tenets and uh, we basically came to the conclusion that it is very normal I believe for Vampire players coming into Hunter to interpret these rules the same as they work for for vampires. So we're going to spend more time in order to explain to you how exactly the design of Hunter works, because as much as people who come to Hunter afresh without having the Vampire V5 experience are uh, quickly to, grab these, uh, to, to, to grasp these rules and understand what exactly this means, people coming from Vampire may think that it's more similar to Vampire than you think. Meanwhile, critical tenets, touchstones and things that you see on the character sheet which have the same names are basically the categories of rules which are differently interpreted depending on which creature we're talking about. Hunter's approach to touchstone is different than it would be for vampire. For vampire, touchstones are a link they have to their humanity, while for a hunter, these are the people that they're fighting for, and therefore they have different implications mechanically. So that's why we're going to have Justin in the stream next week to talk a little bit more about this. We're going to also address this in the future dev vlogs, as well as uh, basically, you know, give you more of that information, more of the explanations of why exactly this was designed this way, and uh, do a character creation video for YouTube in which you'll have all of this information in one place. So that is the plan for Hunter, for you to get easily onboarded and get some more info on how to play Hunter, especially if you're coming from Vampire and uh, you may feel the sheets just like you would in Vampire while well, there are some small differences and we want to uh, teach people on why these differences are there. Uh, so yeah, that's it for Hunter. We are going to update you on the new things coming, but there is one more thing that I would like to very much invite you to if you are into more Hunter content, and that is... Renegade's 
Day Shift Chronicle, which has concluded this week with the epic finale. You can watch the whole Hunter the Reckoning Chronicle, the very first one that concluded from Hunter the Reckoning 5th edition on twitch.tv slash playrenegade. They also upload these episodes on YouTube, so you can watch them. There, there's a little bit of a delay, so I do believe that finale is not there yet. But if you want to watch the whole, it's all available. You can binge it on Twitch right now and do tell us how you enjoy it. I think that it's uh, a really nice first glimpse on the interpretation of Hunter and how people can play Hunter. There are more of these uh, chronicles appearing nowadays. For example, Pod by Night, uh, the authors of Stitch of Fate, have started their own uh, Hunter Draconian campaign as well. So I am very much into seeing how different people are going to interpret Hunter, how they're going to play Hunter, especially as Hunter the Reckoning, as you probably know if you've read the book already, is very much of a sandbox sort of a system in which you can really do a lot of things yourself, come up with the new interpretations of things and have a plenty of freedom at the table of how you're going to approach your hunts. So we are looking forward to see more of this interpretation in the future and do let us know what you think about it all so far on our Discord, discord.gg slash World of Darkness has a Hunter the Reckoning channel in which you can give us all of the opinions on that. And of course, do let Renegade know what you think about their day shift because they put a lot of heart into making this chronicle special. So Steam Summer Sale is beginning today. I know that you probably know it from other sources because come on, everyone lives through Steam Summer Sale. I am definitely going to spend hours on Steam trying to pick something to buy and probably in the end buying way too much. But in the end, in two hours from now on, if you're watching us on Twitch and already happening if you're watching us on YouTube, Steam Summer Sale is again bringing World of Darkness games to promos. And right now we have for sure confirmed that there is going to be a draw distance bundle with a pretty epic promo. If you haven't got Cotteries and Shadows just yet, the bundle of both of them is going to be 85% off. If you just want to buy one of these games, then they're going to be respectively Shadows 60% off and Cotteries 80% off. Uh, there might be other games from War Darkness specifically on sale. We're going to update you all on social media, so do keep in touch with us for social media where we're going to uh, announce more of these sales and uh, do check out Steam Summer Sale in general because there might be cool Paradox games on sale as well. Uh, so yeah, that's going to happen on Steam starting from two hours from now on if you are um, uh, watching us on Twitch. So check out Steam tonight if you want to get some sweet, sweet promos. And now let's talk about something about which we haven't talked in a while and there's a lot of things happening around Vampire the Masquerade Rivals. We definitely need to bring more Rivals to you on streams because uh, Rivals is just a fun game to play and watch. But uh, specifically for the summer season, the Renegade is organizing more of their uh, tournaments in which you can participate. And participating is great because you get prizes for participating alone. You don't have to win. Uh, this time it's Continental Conclave, which is going to happen on Gen Con, uh, which is upcoming this summer. There's going to be a plenty of Renegades uh, stuff happening around Gen Con in general, and you might see World of Darkness presents there, there as well. But the Continental, Co Continental Conclave is going to uh, allow you to, no matter what kind of uh, experience level you have, participate in Rivals tournament and hopefully win. Uh, if you haven't heard about this yet, Rivals, the card game, has really cool Prince of the City tournaments in which um, they are... Uh, Basically, there are battles and tournaments around in cities around the whole world in which every one of these uh, tournaments is getting a prince uh, that is the winner of the tournament. And recently, Renegade has done an interview with the very first prince, uh, the very first winner of uh, this tournament. So you can check it out on vampirecardgame.com. As well as pre-ordered The Heart of Europe, which is the newest supplement to Rivals. They have a plenty of really cool supplements right now, but this one might be super interesting to you, especially if you've played Blood Hunt, because Rivals, uh, the Hearts of Europe, the Heart of Europe is set in Prague, in Czechia. So if you want to not only play your game in Czechia and instead of um, USA and San Francisco, you can uh, grab this one with a plenty of new characters, some of them that you may recognize from certain places, and uh, a plenty of new cards which are going to make your whole game more interesting. If you check out this cover, if you see 
the image on the cover, including the heli, you probably have some, um, you know, glimpses of what exactly is happening in Prague. Uh, if you play the certain game, you probably know what is happening in Prague. So uh, this is a very cool expansion for that, which is which will give you a more chance to roleplay your vampires with the usage of the card game in the city of Prague. Do check out vampire vampirecardgame.com, uh, which has a lot of this information as well as all the information on the Gen Con and the Continental Conclave. If you to join that's the best way to check um, the availability of tickets and how you can sign up for the tournament and coming back to video games Vampire Masquerade Swan Song introduces something new on their website, vampireswansong.com. You can check out the new short stories. So far, two of them are released, one about Galeb and one about a mem. And these stories are not only super cool narratively, but they also give you a more little background peeks into what exactly uh, was, you know, driving these vampires or what was happening in the past of these vampires, specifically for uh, a mem and um, apologies, I made a mistake in here. It's not Leisha, it's actually a mem. A mem story is out. Leisha's story is not out yet. But a mem story is um, about her past with Hilda McAndrews and specifically about the moments around their embrace. So it's uh, something that you may expect is pretty emotional. Galeb one, I think, is going to give you a very nice insight into Galeb's brain, as literally everything in Swan Song around Galeb does. The more and more I play Swan Song, the more I feel for Galeb in some very twisted way. So I do recommend to read them both on vampireswansong.com in the news section. You can check them out and let us know what you think. I think they are really cool narratively and they give a really cool glimpse into the game. Let, let me know, by the way, if you finished the game already, uh, what are your opinions on the game and who is your favorite character so far? Because I would love to know what... Um, how exactly do you do you perceive this game and uh, who would you trust? My usual question about um, Swan Song when I talk to people is if you had to pick out of all of these characters, one who would become the Prince of Boston, who would you pick? And I get very varied repli replies, so I wonder what you think about that. Uh, in the meantime, we got another piece of news from video games, which uh, I haven't had the chance to have this nice splash screen for because it happened very quickly before the stream, and that is for Blood Hunt. If you want to get a very thorough and big update about everything going on with Blood Hunt and all the plans for the game and new updates, which are really cool, do check out bloodhunt.com for the latest news post. One of the things that people were really waiting for and what is being introduced is the very highly customizable uh, modifications for the controller. So if you are playing the game on the controller and you felt that you weren't using the full abilities of your controller just yet, or you play your controller differently in other games and you felt you have some kind of a disadvantage in Blood Hunt, now a lot of options is being unlocked for you. So you'll be able to tweak a lot of things on your PS5 controller in order to play the game and be competitive. There's a lot of more things coming and a lot of things planned. So do check out bloodhunt.com for more information. And in the meantime, I'm going to join Hadi and see what the community is up for today and this week and in all the times. Hello, hello, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Let me drop to the spotlight. Yay. Oh, wait. I cannot see you for some reason. <laughs> no. You can see Twitter, though. I, I can't see Twitter for some reason. Why? Why is this a thing? Here? No? No? This is not... <laughs> Okay. It's okay. Is... You don't want to see me. I'm really sweaty. Gross. I can see you now for some reason, but I didn't do nothing. So that's weird. okay. Great. <laughs> you are not sweaty. You look beautiful. And I love no, your background. It's, it's like 35 degrees Celsius here right now. 35 degrees. I mean, I'm not an I'm American. Not... I'm not designed for life without an air conditioner. I heard about the temperatures in Poland and I got to say, I'm very happy to be in Sweden right now because it's a little bit more manageable. <laughs> Yeah, I keep hearing about that. I'm so jealous. Uh, uh, feel welcome. You know, you can join whenever, as long as you're going to ST for me. So yeah, sure. that's the plan. <laughs> All right. What's the community up to this week, starting from the top left? 
oh, the community this week is up to a lot of LARP. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing because, you know, it's summer and people are getting out and the LARPs are starting up and uh, it's, it's great. So much of Instagram is full of people at their LARPs and it makes me very happy to see it because I've never gotten to LARP and I like living vicariously through it. Yes. <laughs> uh, but first here we have Ancelia Aurora, who is uh, very popular in the family. Um, this they have Francesca Bradamante, their ministry character for Mutine Noctis LARP. That's nice. She's a lot, a lot to play, but also a lot of fun. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. I, I love the the um snake bracelet. It's oh yeah, I just noticed that. That's awesome. And uh, I, the the whole she's a lot is a way I can describe most of my characters for VTM. So I'm very happy that someone is using it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay. And what do we have here? I've seen this one. That's great. Yes, I, I, I sent it to you and Jason, so, but I think everyone else should see it too because it's amazing. Yes. Let's check it out. I especially love, I'm going to uh, go into that moment, uh, the, yeah, the snake with the ministry With logo. the ministry symbol? Yes, and also the fact that the snake was shown twice, so clearly ministry is the best clan. <laughs> yeah, I know, I was going to say, someone's trying to butter you up, clearly. <laughs> also, don't mind my dog grumbling because it's hot as well. I know, but it's, it's just so good, and there's so much work put into this, and I, I just, I love it. love every single piece of it. That's great. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, the author is called... Um, oh, so the um, name here. Let me just. Put... Oh, really? It doesn't have the name in the preview. How I, strange. I think. Yeah, I have to go. I have to open it. I can open yeah, it. Yes, I can. I can check. It's smite or flight. I'm going to oh, okay. put the name right there, so everyone knows it for sure. I would have thought that it would have showed up in is, the preview. That's so strange. It is weird, but we have the na name in here, smite or flight. If you, everyone wants to check it out, uh, that's the name right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. What about Casperatu Yulia? <laughs> I have a couple health TikToks here. You should watch them. Okay. Let's check it out. Keeps breaking into my house and telling me to stop telling the hairstylist to do my hair like Julia from Shadows of New York. Show yourself, coward. I will never stop. Ah! Keeps <laughs> breaking into my house and telling me to stop telling the hairstylist oh to do my hair like Julia from Shadows of New York. Show yourself, coward! I will never stop. Ah, <laughs> breaking in. So good. I mean, honestly, this haircut does demand sacrifices. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. I mean, I, I stand this. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. I, I and I, you know, until they pointed it out, I never even thought about it. Yeah, <laughs> I do follow them on TikTok. <laughs> And I do see a friendly face of Mr. Jason Carl yeah. in there. Oh my Someone goodness, Jason did the, the clan thingy. He did. Okay, I haven't seen this one. Let me check it out. All right, let's give this a try. Do, 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 do. <laughs> of course. All right, let's give it Of course. Which you one? haven't seen it yet because he uploaded it just before the news stream, but I... Grabbed it really quick. Amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, now it's official. Jason is a Malkavian. Uh, which one? You had Banu Hakim, right? I had Banu Hakim, yeah, which is my third favorite clan, so I was very happy. I haven't done that yet, but I will. I told you to do it. <laughs> I know, I don't have time, but I will do it. Uh, it's a um, uh, filter which was done by one of the community members, right? Do we? Yes, uh, one of the one of the uh, Austrian family members, and um, they they were uh, messaging me and uh, tagging me and stuff uh, during their creation of it. So I was very excited when it was finally finished. Uh, can we have a name of the uh, person? Yes, it's. Um... So I can just. 
quickly put it there for everyone to, to check out. Let me look up their name because it's uh, not an easy name to remember. You do it, and I'm going to check out the next one in the meantime. Yes. So Patricia Garloff Lance is a KT residing in Chicago and has acquired some fame over the past few years as a paranormal investigator. He's still young and struggles with his existence as a kindred, but luckily his newfound condition gives him a greater insight into the supernatural, helping him in his endeavor to entertain the public with stories of ghosts and haunted places. What a cool idea! He's so dedicated to this that he even records his podcast in a haunted studio, letting the spirits themselves have their voices heard in this curious program. This idea for a character is awesome, and this portrait is great. I love this. It's like it's both a good uh, idea for um, for a vampire and also a hunter, actually. <laughs> you know, that would be super super cool. Yeah, and I definitely, because uh, you are a huge fan. Sorry, it wouldn't let me type over what you had put up, so I okay. had to do it myself. Oh, wow. But... <laughs> wow. What did you do? It's fine. <laughs> okay. Primo. I don't Relax. know why. All right. So, folks, if you are have on TikToks, and if you want to test out the um, uh, filter that Jason is using in here, you go to Grimo Grill Labs <laughs> on TikTok, and you can grab it from there. If you go from the app, it's pretty easy. But... Also, I love how Jason is so salty about his uh, what he got. <laughs> The quiz is broken. Why? Malkinians are the best. I'm sorry. If, if if anyone thinks Jason has run of the mill aspects, no one thinks that. It's, it's Everyone so funny. thinks that that's Mal that's Malkavian hive mind madden network stuff. I definitely very much judge people based on their um, clan quiz result, but the one where you actually fill in the questions. We have a really nice um, new person or team who is our new licensing manager, a really, really cool person. And uh, I gave him the clan quiz to, to fill in. And he's such a sweetheart. Like, he's just, like, a really nice person. And he filled the quiz and turns out he's La Sombra. And I'm like, Ooh, nice. I will never trust you. <laughs> <laughs> just, I will never trust you, honey. No, wait, you had Bruma. I got La Sombra when I did the clan quiz. You also had La Sombra? Okay, I will yeah. ne never trust you. Never, ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you were setting it up, you kept sending it to me saying, do this, do this, do this, see if it works. And I got La Sombra. I got, like, uh, it's, I don't know, for some reason it's saved in my head that you're you also Bruma. Bruma, right? Yeah. But, uh, because I'm Bruja um, uh, yeah. according to the quiz. So if you're not Bruja nor Salubri, then Zeus. Zeus, very soon. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go uh, deeper into our list, starting from Ench Siren or Angie Siren. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, some more Julia stuff, which I love. I love that Julia is getting so much love this mm -hmm. week. Um, don't ask. It was something conceptual in my head. I want to take photos in color water according to association with character. And I think Julia is a purple color. I agree. Well, Sombra are purple, uh, just like Venture are blue. And uh, these are the, some of the pictures. There were a lot of pictures. They did uh, a lot of different takes of this, but these were two of my favorites. Honestly, this is such a dedication that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in awe because not only you have to dye your water, you have to get into your bathtub in the full cosplay, and then you have to also take very good pictures. So <laughs> I'm just like, I adore this. It, it's great. It ends very much on brand. Like it could be with a little bit of editing. It could easily just serve as, you know, illustrations in. Absolutely. Uh, it's so good. Love it. Also, it seems like they even like um, stylized their wig. Um, because you usually, you know, it's hard to get wigs for particular characters. So you have I to... believe they cut it and yeah. styled it themselves, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you have to buy like a longer one and you have to style it yourself. So this looks super cool. All right. What about the mask of a thousand faces? <laughs> I thought you would like this. This is just a very cute sort of Nosferatu gang. <laughs> oh, I love this. Look at them having all of their nice faces, all being bold and with pointy ears. I think, I think it's sitting here. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know. I didn't, it's not why I picked it, okay? I know. No, I like them. I love them. They're very cute. And then we go up and they are all nice and beautiful. I love mm -hmm. this. I, kinda, I thought you would. I kind of prefer them in the natural form. Like they, so do I. You don't have to try, boys. You're pretty the way you are. <laughs> Well, they might have to try a little just for the masquerade. Just for a little bit, yeah. It, I mean, it depends on where you are. I guess when you're in LA and like people are in cosplay all the time, then you just don't worry about it. You just look like Nostatu on the bright, bright sunset street and stuff. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and we have Leisha. Look yes, we have a, a Polish cosplayer here. Oh, wow. um, Natalie, Natalie Nelly, I think, yeah. or Natalie Enley. 
Um, you come for me and mine, but first you need to find us. Leisha, the child of Malkov from Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. I think Leisha has definitely come forward as like the, the favorite of the cosplayers. Yeah, I mean, she must be super fun to cosplay with a haircut and everything. But, yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, the different contact lenses um, when, when people try to simulate her, her eyes. This looks beautiful. And I love the effect of the broken mirror on the... Mm -hmm. just adds to it so good natalie great job with this one and also it's on pircon oh that's so nice so pircon is um one of the biggest polish fantasy conventions for like all things nerdy so it's a mix of fantasy role players manga you know like there's literally everything in there and uh, it's very welcoming like you know poland is in general like it, it has the image of a very conservative country but pircon is uh, very diverse like there's a tons of you know um, safe spaces there and just making sure that people are feeling good in there so uh, Percon is nice. cool yeah I want to come back one day I've been there like a few years ago it was really nice um, okay and then we have Path of Bones this one's also for you because it's also Polish oh wow look at this stretching by night yes <laughs> Sildana Giovanni is waiting impatiently for the Elysium <laughs> this is so good Polish mm -hmm. community stand up I'm so happy <laughs> that you are active and beautiful Love and I remember, you. I remember we talked about this long before, and you told me that you knew that the how I'll know it's Polish is because they put of the S and the Z together. Yes, yeah, that's that's <laughs> Polish for you. Yes, stretching um, is a thing. But uh, I, I'm, you know, very happy that stretching is really like coming out as this uh, LARP city nowadays. Like I, honestly, I haven't like known about anything happening in Szczecin in my whole time of living in Poland. So now they know oh. that there are LARPers there. It's like, it's great, you know? So it, it looks great. And I also love the skeletal globe jewelry kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I mean, I don't know of it. Like the, the biggest thing happening in Germany or just happened in Germany right now was um, the goth, goth wave um, meetup in goth Leipzig. Wave. Nice. Yeah. That must have been a lot of vampire fans too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot of like sort of goth and vampire hashtags mixed in together. That's so I so saw cool. a lot of the pictures. It was really pretty great. One day, one day we're going to go on the tour and just. I'm not, I don't think I'm goth enough for it. I mean, you could be for one weekend. I, I guess so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> to compete just... with Leipzig in, in the eastern part of Germany, I don't know. That's hardcore. That's hardcore goth. I say. That's hardcore goth. Yeah. Well, I'm probably not that goth either, but I can pretend for one. <laughs> So cool. All right. Uh, Dana Knight. Dana Knight. Dana Knight. Um, it's, um, uh, in Spanish, so. <laughs> um, it says, after uh, after a while without uploading, I'll be posting por uh, pictures I, I did for my friends. At the moment, uh, I, I put forth my bruja of uh, Dudo's uh, questionable hygiene, Yarek. <laughs> think of what Dudo, Dudo said. <laughs> I learned something in Spanish today. Dudosa higiene is like it's that, questionable hygiene. That, that dubious, dubious. It's great. Uh, I love it. Love the, dubious, yeah, dubious. That's probably a better translation. Dubious, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love um, the um, butterfly. It's beautiful. Also, mm -hmm. the tattoo is great. I love the um, the piercings. Yeah, it's great. Dan like night. I'm going to to check out more of them. Um, their drawings it looks super cool style wise. I, I like this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to. Oh, that's beautiful. From mm -hmm. Neon Jess. Uh, new character, Toriador all over. She's a dancer and likes to change her hair as often as she changes her clothes, which is your favorite. Now, this one had, um, I'm, I'm not kidding, just a ton of pictures of her with all these different hairstyles. And oh. you will see some up on the uh, Instagram uh, tomorrow because uh, yeah. I did reach out to Neon Jess. But um, they, it, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. It was several different hairstyles uh, for this one particular character. And I love the idea uh, of a Toreador that just, you know, changes wigs yeah. every night or, they, or several times a night. Yeah, and I love the, um, the, the shading on the skin. It's so good. Like, ah, mm -hmm. beautiful. And also, I wonder how it would be with vampires and lollipops. Can vampires suck on lollipops? Like, how long can they suck on a lollipop before having the reaction? I, imagine, I imagined in my mind that this was blood. Oh, <gasps> blood lollipops. That was, I didn't even imagine it was a real lollipop. Wow. Because it's mean, red. Yeah, but, but now now I have like a thing, like how much a vampire could suck on a regular lollipop before gagging? An hour? 
<laughs> right? Because you activate blush life, it's an hour, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's like, you know, uh, maybe you can just, um, just, I don't know, it, it depends on how much of it you consume, I guess. Like, if you consume like a little, like, just, you know, surface, then... I, I think after an hour, you'd probably hurl, like, like, like just, like, a little bit, whatever <laughs> it is that you manage to consume. Well, I need to try it out one day. <laughs> yeah, well, now we need to figure it out, don't we? <laughs> yes, and now we have, El oh, yes. I've seen this. <laughs> <It's> yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah, this is this is great. Um, so this is Elise uh, who works by Night Studios, and uh, this is a an interpretation of Hunter uh, in the meme of the "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" meme, the Pepe Sylvia meme. I actually had no idea this is the origin of this meme, but now I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, so I, I'm sorry. I'm a huge, like, it's always sunny in Philadelphia fan. But I like the background stuff of, like, Prince, yes. Jester, like, just certain questions. Prince, Jester, Shrek, Net. Yeah. <laughs> Shrek, Net. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is great. Um, Baron, Duchy, Princedom, Kingdom. Lordship. Just, you know, any questions. Yes. Dragon. Uh, what, what is it? <laughs> Maybe Dog Whistle. <laughs> Maybe Dog Whistle, yeah. Wolf. Wolf silver, silver maybe dog whistle it's a uh, gangrel sign ah oh, it's beautiful i love and also this. put the la sombra as the clan of kings and i was like nice no <laughs> yes i mean yeah it is no it, it looks beautiful it looks really great um love it and also love people coming up with your hunter characters let me know what are your hunter characters i want to know more because <laughs> I'm, I'm so thinking about you know running my own hunter chronicle like i would love to play hunter or story tell hunter so one day i'd love to watch you story tell yeah it'll be so nice one day one day okay and now soy chris montes Okay, so this is a very emotional post. And again, this is uh, pertaining to LARP. Okay. Um, so it says, this coterie goes beyond uh, vinculos, so like uh, bonds. Um, it's a question of ideals. We didn't we, we didn't get together to be able to live. We, uh, I'm sorry, we, we didn't get together to be able to live. We got to survive. We got together to be able to live. Even if it's unlife, I'm terrible at live translating, if you can't no, tell. You're, you're doing great. You're doing <laughs> Both have no idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, last week, the Alba Nocturna Chronicle closed, um, a chronicle that began in 2019 and that has been through pandemic and post pandemic. Uh, a, a chronicle that taught me the world of vampires and LARP, uh, but above all, a chronicle that helped me live instead of survive all these terrible or shitty, but all these terrible years. Uh, they, that has given me wonderful people, moments I will treasure forever, and a character that I will love all my life. Wow. Wow. As yeah, someone, I thought that was incredibly emotional and beautiful. As someone who got into, like, uh, vampire role-playing back, like, after, you know, a longer break in 2018, and then, like, 2019 and 2020 were just super intense uh, role-playing times for me, I feel it in my bones. It just like this post really resonates. I, I think with a lot of people in the family in general. Mm -hmm. so. and, and look at them. They're so jolly. I yeah. love them. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. It is. It, and uh, it really, you know, it brought, brought a little tear to my eye. So, and I love the, the Nosferatu on the far left there in the front. <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> uh, so, Eclis Montes, thank you so much for the daily uh, dose of emotions and mm -hmm. tears in eyes. Because it yeah. really means a lot. It's very important to us. The yes. emotional damage, we thrive on it. <laughs> yes. That's obviously. <laughs> <laughs> all right and in the meantime creatures such as we is out yes yes oh, yes love it so love, i think well, i think a lot of us have known about that brian was working on this for a while if you yes. follow brian holland on twitter so i was very excited to see it finally up on the storytellers vault um especially because um you know as an american and as someone who lived in the south for a long time i've really enjoyed telling games involving the southern part of the united states so this is exciting um and it's called creatures such as we lone star and it's a setting for Austin in San Antonio and includes a Camarilla um, scenario and an Anarch one. Yeah, uh, Brian uh, used to work for us. He's a great writer and he does really, really cool stuff. So I definitely do recommend to check it out because uh, like, we all know that Brian can write very well. But if you haven't read anything by Brian just yet, uh, just check it out because uh, I'm sure that uh, with the amount of time he spends on it, it's great. I haven't read it just yet, but I plan to grab it. Oh, wait, I actually do have a copy. Oh, I gotta read it. I gotta read it like, as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, and also I really like the... Um, Isn't the cover art great? Yeah, it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. really lovely. I think it's a 3D art. I think so, yeah. yeah. I really like the fangs. The way the fangs look looks fantastic. 
Deeds of Terror. Nice. All right. <laughs> and now we have LA by Night, as usual, with By Night Studios. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know? I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. I'm sat. I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. I'm sat. <laughs> I mean, if Nice would tell me that too, I, I would just say it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. There's one thing missing from this beautiful list of ours, and I'm mad. So mad. Oh, what is it? It is your video, which is the roast of all clans <laughs> that we haven't put here. What? The, which one? The, the clan? Roast. The, the, the roast. The, the clan roast. quickie? Oh, because because we. We put that up on the socials. I know. What Nobody needs. No. We do not need all the family spotlight listening to me talk to myself but, but that's, for okay. two and a half minutes. If you haven't seen it just yet, please do check out either on Vampire the Masquerade Instagram or TikTok. Um, we've posted a wonderful video of Hadi talking about each of the clans in Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition and roasting them, which is great. To myself, yeah. <laughs> yes, and it's it's awesome. So. Do check it out. It's on uh, Vampire Demasquate Instagram or Vampire Demasquate TikTok. And mm. last but not least, we have Never Trust an Oracle. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe this is Al Alvende, who was in the chat, but I don't know if they are still with us. Um, but yes, they were. Alvende's there. Awesome. Oh, they are. Awesome. Um, yes, I, I first saw this on the Discord for on um, Josephine McAdams' Discord, and then I saw it again on the Tumblr. And uh, they were at LA by night at the Sydney Supernova. And I think this is, this is amazing. This time with some different and hopefully better makeup and a parasol to keep the nasties in the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really love this cosplay and definitely plan to wear it again. Most lately at PAX Australia next year. The makeup is honestly great. And I know how hard it is to nail Eva's makeup just because, you know, white eyebrows and white eyelashes. It's just like, yeah. really hard to do. Uh, and also, like, it's it's hard to get a proper red eyeshadow. Um, and I've been, like, running into this problem a lot. So I think you did a great job. And it looks really, really cool. And the, the parasol goes amazingly with it as yeah. well. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, I see Eva uh, walking around with a parasol yeah, like this. Even, for sure. Even during the night. <laughs> yeah. I'm a particularly bright moon. Yeah. I don't want to get moon burn. Yes. Just, like, the, <laughs> imagine this. Oh, my goodness. That was such a cool photo. Like, Eva on the streets of uh, LA with neon signs just shining through the parasol that she has in her hands. That'd be so nice. Yeah. You're so, you have such an artist brain. I'm sorry, I'm a torator. I'm a complete and utter torator. Yeah, I mean, Bruja Ministry Tremir Torator, right? It, it's fine. Sometimes, you know, just like you don't have to have one mommy or one daddy. You can no. have multiple of them. It's fine. It's okay. You, you, you've been through a lot of Malwas. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. So this is really cool. Um, one, see the thoughts. Like, Sometimes we do comedy questions. This time I wanted to do a seed of thought thing because we were talking last week about various, you know, ways of um, uh, like making chronicles and vampire stories in general. And uh, from my discussion that we had, uh, we actually realized one thing that in Vampire the Masquerade, because of the fact that coteries are usually built from various clans, it is very unusual to have a coterie of childer of one sire. And it's kind of common in other vampire media. So you very often have, you know, the like the same like vampire family just traveling together and being together, like, you know, Coolens or, you know, in the interview of the vampire, it's the same thing. While in Vampire Demasquerade, it's not that common. So I think it's a really cool stuff thought because it gave me a lot of ideas for possible uh, chronicles to have like coterie made out of children of one sire, either one clan or maybe film bloods. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, so uh, in, they wouldn't just be coterie mates, they'd also be like brood mates as well. Yeah, basically. That's actually a really cool idea. Yeah, so like just living it as a seed of thought because it gave me so many ideas for how you could build a chronicle. For example, having only a Philbot chronicle, all of the one full bodied sire. Maybe one of them is Caitiff. Maybe one of them is a, um, is a full bodied vampire. The others are well, uh, yeah. we'll see. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. So to be fair, uh, there a game that I will be st that I can't uh, not, I can't talk about yet. Sorry, telling. We'll have something similar to that. It's a Thin Blood Chronicle. Ooh. We'll have something similar to that in it. So, but I didn't really put that together that th their sire is the same person. I mean, I didn't I, I didn't really connect that as being like a connective thing. 
maybe it could be because i was just like I'm yeah thinking, no it's really it's like, interesting because uh, we were talking about how it's usually you know difficult to come up with ideas of why exactly these people at the table have to stick together so it's usually the prince calls you to give you a mission right or you know yes to have some prince or goal. baron or whatever yeah and it's way more organic if it's a family member you know it's your sire like someone yeah. brought you up and ha- is this connector so i, I thought it's a, such an interesting idea which i don't see explored uh, a lot in vampire just yet I'll just leave it. a super interesting, and I'm I'm really glad that you brought it up. I yeah. really need to now like sit down with the chronicle I'm going to tell and really think about that though that particular connection, which I didn't yeah. consider. It's well, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that that's you know I was able to like s- s- um, how do you call it plant some seeds of inspiration. You, you <laughs> did. You sowed, you sowed, you definitely sowed the seeds of inspiration. There we go. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Hadi, for joining me uh, today. Have a happy meeting. Um, there's a there's a there's a pride section. Oh, there's a pride section. I'm the worst. Okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I was like, okay, we're done. let's do it. Oh, okay, Miss N11 Vamp. Mm-hmm. Miss Miss Nelevan Nelevan. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, this is Valentine's Day art exchange um, of their Tremere former sheriff mm-hmm. and his himbo human boyfriend Caleb. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> says pizza, pizza sleep, sleep party, party repeat. I this is yeah. I would like like my life to look this way. It is usually not looking this way, but I would like. My I think we need life. to get you this shirt so you can wear it on the stream. Yes, I would like that. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute together. I love the lights. Mm-hmm. It's like they're watching a TV together. And it's uh, I think that's what it's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. All right. Beautiful from Miss. And this one is from Ari Unicorn. Yeah, who's been just churning out absolutely amazing stuff over yeah. on Instagram. Definitely recommend them. Um, and this, of course, is a more tragic Aww. pride-related thing. I never liked happy endings. Good thing there are none when you are a vampire. This I agree. Is, uh, lesbian pride yes. i know you agree we talked about this before it's the way you <laughs> you, you play I mean, your poor characters but please don't take my words so seriously i've seen some people online saying that you know astro is saying that there are no happy endings for vampire but i like to play with happy endings do it please do it it's just because i'm a masochist doesn't mean that everyone has to be <laughs> like i really play uh you know vampire for the emotional struggle and yeah. uh, i know that a lot of people want to play vampire for you know, yes, emotional struggle, but also with a lot of hope and a lot of like possible good and right. you, you need some light in the darkness or yes. you can't see how dark the dark is and how light the light is. Exactly. So it's good to like, you know, mix up one and the other and uh, <laughs> the proportions all depend on yourself. So uh, it's yes. really nice. <laughs> yes. What? What happened? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just looking at the Beckett picture again. Okay. <laughs> it right. makes me so happy. I know. And now we have Rit- Rituik. Rit- Rituik. Mm-hmm. Happy Pride for Beckett and his sunglasses. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, let, let's be honest. Beckett would wear that. And also, I want to be. He would. I would w- play a mod of Bloodlines 1 with this particular texture. But can, can, uh, of course. Can someone make this texture? <laughs> Please. We have to call Ian. Ian is so quick at making. Um, oh, oh, mods. Ian, Ian, yeah, Ian yeah, just Ian. like goes for it. Yeah, we can we can call him and and see if if this is like how hard it is to do this. <laughs> I don't know, but this is so perfect for Beckett. And ever since ever since I saw it, I've been thinking about it randomly throughout the week. Oh, and there's <laughs> someone with a T-shirt from Binet mm-hmm. Studios. I haven't bought mine this year yet. I gotta I gotta change. Uh oh. I gotta I gotta do a purchase. You go. I gotta get a, like what a Bruja one now or a Tremere one. I had a no, I, uh, <laughs> last year I got Salubri and I was very happy. Oh, okay. With they have Salubri merch now. <laughs> this looks so cool. Mm-hmm. And to, but they say, say, let's be honest, to buy Toriadoras in surprise, which is true. Yeah. It's simply true. It's, it's a beautiful color combination. I really love how it looks like. I think it's like very complimentary. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, we have Vampire Etern- Husbands. Yeah, Eternal Love Between Vampire Husbands by Blue oh. King. It's a Ventru and a Tremere, which I. I don't know. I've never seen something like that, but I'm into it. Wait, is it a 3D model? Is that like I think so. overpainted Sims models? I, I think it is Sims and painted over. This is, I mean, it's gorgeous, but I'm just like, I love how they were able to capture it from different perspectives. And I'm like, I need to know the technique behind that because that's <laughs> awesome. The the amount of Sims only VTM stuff I could post, I could fill the whole board with it. Yeah. It's very popular medium. So nice. And also very emotional. And also now I feel because, oh my goodness, I am going to be so heartbroken now because I need to role play today. I need to write a post in the play by post in which, 
uh, someone is breaking with my film lots. Like the relationship is ending, and it's like he he got it coming. He's a piece of poop. Yes, and we, uh, you yes. have discussed him before. Yes, and I yeah, and today but basically he's going for a breakup, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> All of right. course he is. Yes. Thank you so much, Hadi. I'm going to Thank jump you. into the FAQ section right now uh, for those of you who are watching us live stream. And uh, yeah, let's see each other next week. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. And thank you so much for everyone who is watching us right now on YouTube. If you're watching us on stream, do stick around for the FAQ section. As usual, at the end of the stream, we address the chat and your questions. So if you want to watch us live, it's on Twitch TV slash World of Darkness every Thursday at 5 p.m. Central European time. Thank you so much and see you later. Bye -bye.